November 7th. It's getting good. I wouldn't be surprised if he's eight years old. November is, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine is really good. I'm excited. We're on a, a whole nother piece of this farm way on the south side. A couple rolling hills right here, a couple oak flats. Then we got a river bottom. And we're just at the top side of it. We got an east northeast wind, so we're just snuck to the edge of this cattle pasture and we're right up in this tree on the top. So we're gonna rattle, hopefully pull some stuff, you know, from the bottoms. Um, I have a feeling though, we are gonna see deer far away. Just the way this standage was is okay, we can readjust if need be. Well, it's um, nine o'clock, I think. No, not, well, it's 7.20, but we're gonna move. We're gonna take this set down, go down in here about 100 yards. I uh, I just don't love where we're at right now, and I wanna be down in there when it's good mid-morning, so I think that's the play, we're gonna do that. Eight thirty. That didn't take too long. What time do we leave? Seven thirty. Twenty. Seven twenty. Hour. That's not bad at all. Love the spot we're in now. Pinches down right here on the river. Trails all around. Rubs all around. And we're only seventy yards where we were, but we're just now. We're in it. Down here. Packing up, it's just about noon. We're gonna go to the spot that I hung the stand yesterday. And it's just not happening here right now. We're, when it's not happening, you don't stay in the rut. You should be seeing deer, especially where we're at right now. It's not happening right here. Heading in, have a good feeling. We're gonna get in there, settle in. Rattle, 180. Really? That'd be nice, huh?
that's the one deer that I actually have on camera in this spot. I wouldn't be surprised if he's eight years old. Just the junk rack though, but that was a really cool encounter. I could have shot him. <laughs> right here next to the cattle fence, like all day. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That sucker's on what is currently probably my favorite stand on this farm now. We sat here a couple days ago and just had a heck of a day. Um, got a southeast wind, which is okay. Pretty much anything south is okay. And we already saw that same three-year-old we saw the other day just cruising this ridge, bumping a doe right at first light. So it's got me excited. And sit tight, we're gonna try to make it all day and just see what happens. It's uh, gonna be warmer, a little warmer today and warmer tomorrow. Uh, but after that, it's gonna be dynamite. Chisel all away, another day of the rut. Another opportunity, potentially. Persistence. about having a variety of snacks. Not just quantity, but variety. We got out here in shooting light, which sucks, but <laughs> I uh, fell back asleep after my alarm this morning. We're, we're due for a break. We're, we're gonna take this afternoon off, potentially tomorrow off, because it's getting like 75 degrees again and windy. So it'd be a good day to recharge. But, uh, I was thinking we weren't even gonna see a deer today, but we just saw a little buck about 100 yards away. So that's a good sign. New spot, wanted to try it out on this stand about a week ago now, so. Hopefully we see more than that one deer. Him. He went behind some brush. Where is he? 150 yards at 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, he's gonna be a mega giant, dude. He's got trash. Man, he's gonna be a mega.
there's going to be a Magnum, dude. He's cool as heck. He might only be two. Yeah, his body was small. Man, was he cool, though. November 10th, we actually slept in this morning because it's 70 degrees and 25 mile an hour winds, but cold front's moving in and this weekend is lining up to look pretty awesome. It's gonna start dipping down in the teens and the 20s, coldest temperatures of the year. Um, but I needed a recharge. I, we slept in and um, kind of took a chill, chill afternoon too. We didn't hunt last night, but we're hitting it hard again. Just wanted to shoot the bow before uh, we're heading out. It's uh, like 8.30 right now, so we're going to get out there super early, probably 11 o'clock noon, get set up, and be ready. For our afternoon sit, we went over on some cameras and got just absolutely dumped on. But it was 70 some degrees, it's already 60, and it's just gonna keep dropping. This front's moving in. But we moved two cameras, um, we bumped two bucks that were with does. Um, so they're just kind of like, I think, really tight right now. But we're gonna get in a new spot, we're gonna hang a set. We pulled, pulled a set, we're gonna hang a set tonight and sit it. See what happens.